we are going to enter into a time of baptism as a church. Baptism is a celebration with your church about a decision that you've made in your heart, in your life. And if you've surrendered your life to Jesus, baptism is a step you take of letting your church community know, of allowing us to celebrate that with you. And last time when we had baptisms, a friend of mine who's a former student from Merge, his name's Renell, and this was his story of why he chose to be baptized. Here's his words. There were two major things that made me feel like God was prompting me to get baptized that day. The first was a feeling of trust. And the second was when Brad Miller spoke about Jesus beginning his ministry with baptism. The feeling of trust stemmed from my faith that God would provide a way for me to continue in the ministry that I believe he has currently called me to continue in. When I started working with the group of currently fifth grade boys and Grace Kids a couple of years ago, one of the parents told me how happy their child was that I would be leading his group. And in that moment, I felt committed to being this group's leader until they graduated, and I felt peace with that decision. As I've been getting close to graduating college, some of my family gets agitated, thinking that I'm limiting my job search, but I still have the sense of peace with this thought of leading these, these fifth graders and feeling that Grace Fishers is my church home. That was one thing. And the second thing that resonated with me that day was the idea of starting ministry with baptism. As Brad was talking about that, God showed me many similar parts of dreams that I have had, and I felt like he challenged me to begin this new chapter in my life with baptism in a similar way to how Jesus began his ministry with baptism. I'm so proud of Renell, of his faithfulness to Jesus, of his faithful, faithfulness to the church, and it was an honor to baptize him. 